You're gonna be looking to find the target and find a home for those heavy hands. This is just not a guy anybody wants to get in a slugfest with. More often than not, you end up twitching on the canvas, concussed. You're playing with fire here if you choose to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with this guy. Chuck Liddell will go down in history of one of the greatest fighters in the history of the UFC. The UFC light heavyweight champion during his reign was one of the most feared fighters in the sport with devastating knockout victories of the elite of the elite of his era. Born in Dagestan, Russia, here is the UFC lightweight contender, the undefeated Khabib Nurmagomedov, at one point 24 and 0, dominant every step of the way in his mixed martial arts career, training at American Kickboxing Academy under the likes of Javier Mendez. This is a gym that has produced many a champion, Joe. All indications are that Khabib Nurmagomedov could be next. Apparently, he worked tremendously hard on cardio for this camp. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 3 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, the... And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. Get the rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners. I am fight. very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go Ready? down right Ready? now. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see. Nice shot to the body there. Immediately shoots for the leg. Good body shot. And he's looking for that left. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Oh, tags him with that money left again. 
into half guard here. He's posturing up here, and he's back in the guard. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Hall of Famer, the Iceman Chuck Liddell. Just over three minutes to go round one. Posture's up. He lands a big shot from the bottom. And he passes, side control. He moves to the Mount of Crucifix. This is ugly. Vicious elbow lands to the head. He's moved back into side control. The Iceman gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. The ground strikes continue to pile up. He's back into side control here. He's got the mounted crucifix. This is dangerous. Secures north-south position. Working for the choke here, trying to get that arm underneath the back of the neck. He's got this choke sunk in. He's got it locked up. Now he's pretty deep. Oh, that's nasty. He might have to tap any second now. This north-south choke is getting very, very tight. Wow. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. Good defense there. In on a single here. Switching stances here. Oh, big right hand, yes. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. And let's look at it from a different angle. Good to have Brazil's Jenny Andrade in the building here. Second round here. Oh, well done there, Joe, as he catches the kick. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's able to slip the left there. He's got it. He got him down. Nice punch there by Chuck Liddell. Excellent posture. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southpaw here, Joe. Both men landing in that exchange. And he connects with the punch. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Excellent takedown defense. Yeah, the referee's gonna separate him. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. They are trading huge punches here. That's a good strike there by Nermago Meta. Oh, he's got him down. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And moves into side control now. And the Kimura attempt here. He's got his arm pinned down. 
He's got that Kimura locked up. Look at that. That is high-level ground game there. This could be it. It's getting tighter. Oh, my God! He set it up. It was beautiful technique, and he was forced to tap. Beautiful submission. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of round number two. To claim the winner by tap out, due to a Kimura, so nearly 30 men have tried, and as yet, no one has solved the puzzle. That is the Dagestani Khabib Nurmagomedov proving to be, if not the best, one of the best lightweights in the world. And again, when the striking starts to catch up with the wrestling, this is a guy who 